It's very exciting when something's been puzzling you and you realize that it's a research question. Suddenly you say, I can study that. My job is actually to study these curious things. Once you get an idea, there is this moment of joy where you know you've landed on something that is potentially really interesting. You're going to learn, potentially other people are going to learn too. Harvard Business School is really the place that allows you to think big. People around you want to think about big ideas. The really good days are when hours just pass by and you are thinking about a problem or you're writing or you're working with data and you're just using the 100% of your brain. Those are the times when I think we're probably the happiest. Harvard Business School enables you to do paradigm shifting research, to introduce an entirely new framework, an entirely new way of solving big problems. The problems and challenges and opportunities facing the world are becoming more and more complex over time. A problem like climate change or health care is not going to lend itself to progress through the insights of a single type of research. And so we've got people doing experiments in the field, people doing experiments in the laboratory, business historians, economists, field-based researchers, action researchers. What I do is called action research. I engage closely with organizations, work with the managers and the leaders to introduce new ideas. For the last six years, I have been working with up to 100 different healthcare institutions around the world. The principal goal is really to lower the cost of healthcare. We can show the doctors the cost of doing a complete medical treatment, and then they start to see opportunities to lower the cost. I collect very detailed information for many, many firms. You immerse yourself in the data and you try discovering something that has not been discovered before that could change the way organizations run. We have data on neonatal ICUs in India and we are seeing that places that are better managed have lower mortality rates. And so I'm trying to help lower mortality rates by teaching chiefs of labor unit how to be better managers. My research interests stem from my own experience growing up. The way we came to this country is by my father's efforts with a multinational firm, first in India, then in Hong Kong, then in New Jersey. And so I've always thought of myself as, in some sense, a product of the global reach of these companies. I think my own father's experience in those organizations made me think hard about how they work and how they contribute to the world. Recently, there's been a rash of U.S. companies trying to merge with foreign companies as a way to leave the United States. They're doing it largely for tax reasons. My research is really about understanding how we can fix the system so that they don't have the perverse incentives to do those things. I'm a curious behavioral scientist who studies the psychology that drives our decisions. Probably about half of the research Francesca and I do ends up being conducted in a laboratory. We're trying in the lab to think about how do people work? What are the triggers that will make people feel happy, make people feel sad? Francesca and I have been doing this research on rituals for probably five or six years now. We looked at how people experience consuming food differently depending on whether they engage in a ritual versus not. Some people might say, what does this have to do with business? Little rituals predict team performance. A manager who has employees who aren't happy or who are struggling can actually institute rituals to improve morale on the team and improve performance in the workplace. Harvard Business School is like the Beatles. We write all of our own material. And that gives us a degree of intimacy and familiarity with the material that no other faculty at any other school can have. The case method by which we teach is also a way in which we conduct research. Because we have that distinctive way of teaching, we also are constantly out there writing documents trying to understand and analyze and teach about what's going on in reality. You start with whatever intellectual question you're fascinated by. I did one case with Stefan Tomke, who was in our technology and operations management area. We knew that there had been an extraordinary turnaround at Lego. The company had gone from the brink of bankruptcy to being the most successful toy company in the world. How do you do that in a short period of time? The CEO of Lego was extraordinarily generous, told us to come over to Denmark. We spent a couple of days interviewing the management team, trying to understand what had really enabled the turnaround of the company. The factory itself was an extraordinary thing. It was like being inside Willy Wonka's factory. I kept looking for the Oompa Loompas. 
We use the case on Lego in our core strategy course to understand why a company has begun to fail and what you must do in order to put in place a firm foundation for the company and then grow it over time. While students kind of think about us as, hey, they're about impacting me, in reality, we're about impacting you, we're about impacting our scholarly communities, we're about impacting the world of practice, which can be policymakers or executives. We have a wide range of people we're trying to impact, and our research helps us impact all those audiences. We want to make sure that we're addressing the concerns of practice and general managers, and their problems don't respect the boundaries of our academic disciplines. So we really engage across the boundaries of the school. The people at HBS bring in new and different ways of looking at the same problem. Here you are constantly faced with interactions with people that have first-hand experience of what happens within organizations. And this is fascinating. I've been doing this type of research now for more than 30 years. I'm well past a normal retirement age. But this work is just so rewarding, and that's enough to keep me off the golf course. Our mission is to educate leaders to make a difference in the world. How do you do that? You've got to bring them new, valid ideas that are useful to them. And research produces those ideas, those insights. So without research, we literally could not fulfill the mission. We would not have the insights we need to educate leaders.